Well, good Wednesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you and uh, you had a good night's rest. You're ready to face whatever today may bring to you. I'm going to re read to you today from the book of John. And probably, if not the most familiar uh, passage in the Word of God, one of the most familiar. You know, in the beginning of the book of John, we find that... Um, that there is a ruler of the Jews who comes to Jesus by night, uh, calls him rabbi, uh, gives him uh, honor and reverence. He comes by night because um, he even says in one place here that there's nobody that does the works that you do <laughs> unless he's um, sent by God. So, Here he is wondering or marveling at the words that Jesus speaks to him about being born again and about uh, believing and about faith and, and all these things. And Jesus even says to him, you're a ruler of the Jews and you don't know these things? Um and then in verse 11, he says, Jesus says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that we speak that we do know and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Now Jesus is telling him, or, and he's, of course, he doesn't understand about the new birth, so he's not going to understand this either. But Jesus is telling him that just as Moses lifted up that serpent, and the people in it, Nicodemus knew that story. Um, and uh, I would say if you don't know that story, then you can go back through the Word of God and find that. But here he is saying, as Moses lifted up this serpent when um, the children of Israel complained against Moses, uh, God sent poisonous serpents or fiery serpents among them to bite them. And then they cried out to Moses for help. Moses went before God. God said, take a brazen serpent uh, and put him on a pole and lift him up, and when people look at him, they'll live if they've been bitten. Well, Jesus is saying the Son of Man must be lifted up. He's talking about himself, of course, and how he's going to be lifted up on a cross. But it's not just that. Of course, he has to be lifted up on a cross. But if he was lifted up on a cross over 2,000 years ago, and no one ever told the story, uh, he wouldn't have been lifted up to me. Here I am bitten by sin and you as well dying but then along comes a minister or somebody that sings a song or gives a testimony that talks about God and talks about Christ and, and all of a sudden the Holy Spirit begins to deal with us and draw us to him. That is lifting up Christ. But the Son of Man must be lifted up. He said that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. And so now Jesus is telling Nicodemus that eternal life comes through uh, looking at Jesus, believing on him, just as those people that had been bitten by those serpents looked at that brazen serpent that Moses lifted up in the wilderness and lived. Then he says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Does that mean that no one will be condemned? Mm -mm. No, because verse 18 says, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So until we are believers, we are condemned. How can we believe? 
certain people will say to you, then there's no way we could ever be saved. And that's not the case. How can we believe? The Son of Man must be lifted up. And when he's lifted up, the Spirit of God mixes that with faith. We hear that. We are convicted. And we are then converted, changed to believe, to repent, to be a follower. How can that happen? Why did that happen? Because God so loved the world. Until you understand the love of God or until you have the love of God applied to you or revealed to you, you won't understand that. And the longer that I uh, serve him, the more I love him. The times when I'm lonely, the times when I feel alone, although I'm not times when I need help that no one else can give to me mentally, spiritually, and even at times physically, uh, it is great to know that God loves me. Um, this song says, until you've known the love of God, and if you don't know it today, uh, my prayer is that you will listen to the words and allow God to speak to you. If you could own all the and it's money build castles tall enough to reach the sky above if you could know everything there was to know about life's game yet you know nothing until you know god and his love until you've known the loving hand that reaches down to fallen man and lifts him up from out of sin where he has trod. Until you've known just how it feels to know that God is really real, then you know nothing do you know the love of God? If in your lifetime you could meet everybody and you could call every name from here to yon, but if you not come face to face with Jesus and His saving grace, then you know nothing till you know God and His love. Until you know the loving hand that reaches down to fallen man and lifts him up from out of sin where he has drawn. Until you've known just how it feels To know that God is really real Then you know nothing Until you know the love of God Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to look into your word God, we thank you for your love so we are so undeserving of that. But God, just as we love our children and grandchildren, God, I can't imagine the love that you must have had for us to send your only begotten son to die for this world, knowing that some would reject, knowing that uh, they would crucify him, knowing what he would have to go through. Still, you loved us enough to send him, God. We thank you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you folks. I hope you have a good Wednesday and we'll see you on Thursday.